Hi there, I'm Buddha and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode I bring you my brand new 335, it's a 1959 custom shop reissue, natural finish. The story about this, Toman had two exact same models, one was Murphy Lab and the other one was this one. Uh, the minute I got them, uh, I hated the guitars. They were, the, the finish was not good, the setup was not good, so I immediately returned them. I, I ordered both so I could try them and pick the one I liked the most. It happens I didn't like any of the guitars. Uh, I went on the road and kind of a week later I came back to the studio and just put took the guitar off the case and it was way better. So I set it up a little, basically putting the bridge a little up, a little higher, and the guitar came to life. The Murphy Lab, uh, funny enough, was not the, the neck pickup was not even working, so I couldn't even compare it, and I find it unacceptable for a guitar that price. This is an expensive guitar, and I was like, man, I've always wanted a 335, would this be like better than my Epiphone Sheraton? Uh, that better, because I really love my Epiphone Sheraton with Lindy Fralin pickups. But the more I play this guitar, the magical it gets. And this came up to the video. It's, I, I've been having this guitar for a while now, for almost half a, half a year, and I wanted to show it to you. I'm using my studio pedal board here, plugging into the Overdrive Special by Mark Kane, a clone of a Dumble. The big difference of a 335 uh, to a Les Paul, in my opinion, is that it's smoother, less mid-rangey, and less pick attack. It's a little more compressed, which is more what I'm usually used to on a Fender guitar. These pickups are very microphonic, which makes them sound really great. No effects at all, just going into the amp. The volume controls work incredibly, so let me take like neck volume to six. Immediately, what I like on this guitar is that the volume control um, gives me my... makes it less attacky less pronounced so it becomes a little more a little more acoustic and of course it has the 50s wiring which means if i take a little of the tone off it gets even hollower and thinner Better with the Nova Drive. Let me turn on the Soul Food. It sounds immediately like a jazzy kind of uh, 60s vibe of guitar love it let's hear bridge pickup <laughs>
rock and roll guitar and middle position let me get a little reverb And the thing this guitar has is that even unplugged, it's a magic sounding instrument. The vibration on my body, it's incredible. Uh, I really love how, how it feels. It's not my, my main guitar because I'm a Strat or Telly guy, mainly a Strat guy but it is an incredibly great instrument really well thought of and let me turn the catalyst by full tone which is a very thick overdrive so you can hear the nuances with the guitar guitar's volume Let me point the camera a little more towards the guitar. Catalyst on. get this cleanish tone This is a guitar that really uh, inspires me to play like with the volume. That's how I like Embucker guitars usually. Not to play full volume, but to use the pickups to my advantage. Like
And this is something I found with um, two humbucker guitars. Like the middle position can sound a lot like kind of a single coil because it has less mid range. So you can get like your single coily tones with the middle position and then using the, um, the two volume controls to get a little less bass or a little, or a little less brightness. But in here, in this position, if I take the bass a little off, or take the bridge a little off, this is the BB King tone. Which is very different than, than just the neck. And this can be a rock and roll guitar, like I can use the fuzz. It can be all kinds of stuff. <laughs> it can be a lot of different styles, but I love the way it jazzes up and it rocks up at the same guitar. The neck pickup is just unbelievable. And the middle position is super funky, super James Brown. Which position is almost a telecaster.
especially the, the acoustic feeling of the guitar is really great. I, I love this guitar and I really wanted to show it because uh, it took me a long time to get a, a 335 because I thought it would never be my guitar. Um, but this is really a great one and take time to play the guitars when you when you test it. That's why it's so important to test guitars because sometimes it's just like the day is not right for you or whatever and we don't feel the guitar is, is the good guitar uh, for us. Uh, this is a really good one. I love the natural color on it. Um, really great hollow body guitar, really magical guitar. That's it, my friends. Thanks a lot for watching. I've just launched the membership on YouTube, so you can now support the channel. I have three different levels that grant you access to different stuff. On the bigger level, you get access to a guitar lesson that I will upload to YouTube and only those members can watch it. But also if you want to help, you can become a patron and help me on a monthly basis. Or you just leave your thumbs up and subscribe. That's also a good help you can do and it costs you nothing. Only if you like it, of course. Thank you so much for watching and thanks to all my dear patrons who support the show forever. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much. We'll see each other next week. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.